here we are this is the model y so i'm gonna actually make like more than one video because i intend to actually do the uh test drive for the model y but um this is the car and uh you've probably seen these on the road like this is like the fastest adaptation to the road that i've seen because like with the model 3 it took a while for us to start getting them and then it took even longer for me to really see them on the road but uh basically it's the same thing it's like the model 3 interior on stilts you know it's it's damn sure not as fast as uh one of these right here or one of these track hawks the thing about it is you don't have to buy gas and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring my mom to test drive one of these things my gentleman right here and uh this one's his and i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna uh what is it called i'm gonna um register for the testing what's going on hi Are you from Bangladesh or India? Yeah. India, right? Yeah. Okay, it's nice. I saw you, right? Is your car? Is your car? Yeah. New? Yeah, I just got it last week. Oh, it's nice. It's, uh, it's uh, there's a long range. Oh, he has the long range. Oh, big spender. Yeah, this is good. That's what everybody says. Yeah. I, I, I think I, they have a performance one, too. We'll go look at that in a second. And then there's the Tesla Model X right here, which I already made a video of my uh, mom driving and they're testing out the autopilot and everything and you can see the size disparity between these cars but that model y is that see the thing about it is and this is the reason why the market wants crossovers it's because when you have such a high roof it allows you to stack more cargo vertically and on top of that it allows you to sit more straight up and because of that it reduces the amount of leg space you need and in reducing the amount of leg space you need, you can actually make a slightly more uh, compact vehicle, but because you have so much vertical height, it allows people to sit straight up, it allows cargo to be straight up. So you actually get more usable vertical space than you have horizontal space. You got a white Model Y. Now I would think, but you know, here's the thing, Cadillac has what's called the Lyric coming. So they have their own EV. And uh, I would think that what she'd probably be interested in is getting one of the, the, the color red right there, like one of those red Cadillac lyrics, but with the brightest color interior that they got. So this is the dual motor performance. Uh, this is the Model Y. See, the only way you know is by looking at these uh, those uh, door handles because the door handles for the Model X are together and the door handles for the Model Y are the, just like the Model Three. It's like you gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta, re, you gotta stick your finger in and then pull it like a latch. This is uh, this is really nice. I think it looks comfortable. In fact, let's go check it out. Looks very comfortable. So, does Tesla have what it takes for my next? car lease to not be from Cadillac but to be from Tesla instead. Do they have what it takes? I just don't know. We'll have to find out. You just came back. Oh! Now, as far as options, okay, so the roof, there's, now the roof doesn't open, right? Correct. At all, so there's no option for openable roof, right? Exactly. Okay, yeah. as for the seats, heated, cooled seats? So they're not cool because they're not made out of leather, and you can pre-cool the car almost immediately. Okay. Oh, yes, love the air conditioner. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just turned the heat up. Oh. Okay, so it's kind of like the Model 3. Huh? So, yeah, it has the same panel right here. And then the charging pad right there. Yeah. All right, so it's 
basically, there's a lot of space in here. The one thing I'm not happy about is my seating position because I feel like I'm sitting really, really, really high and I can't get any lower. It's funny because this passenger chair seems to be able to be lower than I am. Like I'm sitting really high, but no big deal. And I love playing with these air conditioners. I freaking love it. Like they have that button in the air conditioner where, how you do this? Okay, so the AC stays on. So you turn up the air and then there's that, there's like a little switch. I'm just trying to figure out where it is where you can move the air louvers around. I okay, I think that's recycle the air. I could turn it down just a little, but the air, yeah, the air conditioner feels pretty good. Um, off dog climate will turn on after you leave yeah this is just in case you leave your dog or your kid in the car because you're a horrible parent and this one allows you to angle it down towards your feet so yeah i want some on my feet and uh what else do we got in there uh okay don't want to turn it off it's 90 degrees let's turn that back on okay and that's auto so we want this up, down, and forward. So we want all three zones. Yeah, it, it's funny when the air conditioner is like a huge deal of a car. But um, also, these Teslas, they have a camera system just in case anybody screws with your car. So there's a little camera right there. There's a camera on the back of this thing. I'm not sure which side it is, but there's a camera back here somewhere that faces outside of the car. So this way, just in case anybody comes and messes with your car, it automatically starts recording. And um, I'm gonna play with that air conditioner more. I just freaking love doing that. I love the air conditioner. Now, this is where I get kind of bothered. They, they have heated seats where you access the heated seats like one by one, but they don't have cooled seats, obviously. So that's, there's no, there's no cooled seats, there's only heated. So that's a big problem for me because even Cadillac, if I go to Cadillac, I can get heated and cooled seats. Um, so that's the seat heater system. Yeah, no, 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 we want to turn that off. It's hot as hell right now. And that's the air conditioner. Um, let's see, connect phone, yeah. And that's the charge port right there. And this is the windshield wiper. So basically you have to go through the touchscreen for just about everything. Even like, you know, adjusting the seats. It's like every everything, even in the Model S and the Model X, you have to go through the touchscreen to adjust everything, including the seats. And like, if you want to adjust like the mirrors, you have to hit mirrors right there. And then you have to like adjust the side mirror. So you have to use like one of these uh, balls in order to adjust the mirrors. Yeah, it's exactly like the Model 3. And I'll tell you, for fifty thousand dollars and you know not having to really buy gas and being able to charge at home that's really really cool i really like that yeah you know what's funny i don't see that little knob that allows you to move the louvers around oh there it is yeah so you just touch it and and that allows you to switch uh the the airflow and everything i love that i love that it's so cool i absolutely love that well, our stock, and I stay R because even though I sold my stock, my sister and a couple of my relatives actually got in during the dip in March. So they bought in at $360 and the shit is $1,300 today. How about that? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another video and I'm going to drive the performance model Y. So... Well, not me. I want my mom to drive it. Because the thing about it is this is the kind of car that she'd be getting, you know, in, instead of the Cadillac XT5. But uh, this is what the back space looks like. In fact, let me go back, dude. Let me take a look at the back. Okay. So, wow. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of space back here. Like, there's a lot of space back here. You know, so. This is nice. This is really nice. This is bigger than like any compact car. This is bigger than any Prius. This is really a luxury car in a way, especially when you factor in, you don't have to pay for gas. Got this massive moon roof. This, this car is like mostly glass. And I guess that adds to the luxury feel. You're gonna see a, man, this car, you're gonna see a hell of a lot of these on the road instead of these horrible shit Hyundai, Hondas, Hyundais, whatever. It's like, these cars right here are gonna sell a lot. Like this, when you're talking about like a car being the future, it's like you got USB-C ports right there. 
Man, this car is gonna I sell. Guess the one last thing is the obligatory, how do I fit in the back? Well, I got nothing but space back here. This is like the biggest back seat I've been in in a while. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at this. Got all this space back here. You'll never see me in the back seat of nobody's car because I drive everywhere. But goddamn, this is noise. It's all glass, boy. I like this. I like this. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to do the test drive. I'm going to bring mom and we're going to test drive it. We're going to do the autopilot. We're going to do some zero to hundreds because mom, mom's a pain in the ass when it comes to like racing a car. She doesn't drive fast. Like she never goes past like 60 miles per hour. So uh, we're going to have mom do the zero to 60 or whatever it is. We're going to have her do past 60. We're going to have her do autopilot and uh, they'll show her how to charge it and everything. And that'll be perfect. And, and then what I'll do is um i'm gonna add to this video but i'm gonna release this part right now and then i'm gonna add to this video tomorrow but let me tell you something it's like hopefully tesla does a stock split but i'll tell you something right now if they do a stock split you better have your money ready to buy in because if you buy in if they do a stock split you buy in i guarantee you won't cars activate automatic uh cooling of the battery in order to reduce the amount of heat on the car That's the black with the white interior. So here's the deal. Black is a standard color. I guess that's because it's the easiest to paint. White interiors are extra. So if you want another color, like for instance, if you want that red color right there, that's an extra two grand. If you want the white interior, that's an extra thousand dollars. Autopilot, as I was just explained, autopilot has increased in price. So they give you autopilot, but if you want the full self-driving technology, you have to increase the price to $8,000. So it's not $7,000 anymore, it's $8,000. How about that? And that right there, they're taking this one out. This is the uh, test driver right here. Now I'm really liking the interior. I don't like how I sit in the driver position, but I'm really liking that interior space because my mom, is nowhere near as big as I am. My dad is shorter than I am. My mom's shorter than I am. In fact, Demonology just bought one of these with his wife and they are loving it. And I know once they uh, get some time and they'll fix any of the uh, quality control issues, because right now I know that they're having a couple of quality control issues, but the Model 3 and the Model S and the Model X had the same problems. Like the Model X had the problem with the gold wing doors. And I know the uh, Model S had an issue with the bumpers and the paint and all that. So ultimately, all of this will be, uh, you know, they'll, they'll work it out. I know they'll work it out. But, uh, yeah, okay. so they're test driving on it, and uh, it's good. You know, that's a very beautiful, very nice. So here you got white, black, red, but there's no blue. How you doing? And that's that. So basically tune in tomorrow and I'm going to have a brand new update with mom driving the Tesla Model Y. Oh, hey, buddy, this is a uh, parking lot. Slow down. Yeah, see, this is the Model X. That's how you know that it's a Model X. You have to look for the doors, like the door buttons, uh, those panels that tells you it's a model x but the model y has the the regular door handles that pull out like uh, pop outs so this is a performance p100d these things are just too expensive if this p100d was only a hundred thousand dollars these things would fly off the shelves that and they need heated and cooled seats but i i just think it's too expensive at one hundred and fifty thousand. that's insane but um, I think that once they get the prices down, it'll do a lot better.